Six months ago, my entire five acre farm burned to the ground, and now we're rebuilding it to its former glory. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It's been about six months since I last tuned in with you guys here. As you can see, our truck is fine. We've got a new garage and we did go ahead and build a new house here. Now, I know this house doesn't look new. We actually are purposefully going for an old farm style design, but this did take up most of the insurance money we got from the fire, meaning we have to build the rest of the five acre farm on just $80,000. But I gotta be honest, as tragic as it is, all this grass out here is Coming up kind of nice, actually. That fire came through and really did a good job with this. You got to find the silver linings, you know what I mean? If you remember how our five acre farm was previously, we had a center drive right here with two big, beautiful greenhouses, chicken coops right off to the left hand side, and a sheep pasture right on the right. And right back into this section, we had built a couple barns for our equipment and our hay. And we also had another sheep barn right there. But now all we have is our house garage and pickup truck and we have got to get started building all of this back up first thing that i want to do is stop in at tractor supply they actually have some really nice chicken coops that you can buy and build here and we need to get some other tools and little supplies to get our build started here today oh my goodness it always gets expensive when i go to tractor supply <laughs> we're down to eighty-two thousand dollars, but with that we got a water trailer we've got a grain hopper here i'm thinking we can put chicken feed and stuff in here and then come up and fill it with the uh the wheelbarrow and that's how we can try and hopefully feed our animals that's what i'm gonna go with for the time being they said that they'll use their uh forklift to load this into our truck but first i'm gonna take the wheelbarrow and water trailer back home okay we're all hooked up to the trailer we got the wheelbarrow in the back let's get out of tractor supply back down home and head over to a farm just outside of town where I saw a guy was selling some old equipment. We're going to go see if we can't buy some of that. Okay, we're pulling up to the place. I've already pulled out a big old check from our bank account to pay for this stuff, so we're down to $30,000 if we give this guy this check. But he said I can pull in here and look at the equipment whenever I want, so let's check them out. Right over here, we've got a little rake. Nothing overly fancy, but this will work perfect on our little farm. We've also got a really old sickle style mower. Nothing fancy once again, but it would work perfect on our farm. This baler though is actually quite nice. The baler is the nicest thing out of it all and probably the most expensive thing. The second most expensive thing is this tractor. It's a John Deere 6300 with the uh, two wheel drive package. You can tell from the smaller tires up front. It's got an open air cab up there. No glass, no air conditioning or anything like that. The cab is just there to stop you from getting rained on, but it's going to be a nice little tractor, about 100 horsepower there which is more than enough to haul everything as well as this John Deere hay trailer right back here. So for the entire hay package, it is about $50,000, which... That's a lot, but this baler is probably a good 22 to 25 of that. It's a really nice baler, and the tractor is probably a good, you know, 15 to 20 of that. So after all that, it's really not that bad. What is going to be bad is having to figure out how to load everything onto this little hay trailer to get it home. The gentleman selling this stuff said that we can use his skid steer to load stuff on here if we need to, which we probably will. Oh my goodness, he had this thing hanging off a cliff. Sure hope that ain't messed up the frame. We better pull it forward and look. First, we need to get this thing pulled up out. Oh, I nailed a tree. Well, could about seen that coming, huh? What if I told you I nailed a tree twice? Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to back down this. Now I'm in a tree. Okay, things are getting interesting with the Lorax, man. I gotta be honest. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, we got it. That was rather painful. Honestly, though, this little trailer is not looking too bad. I'm looking at it, I don't think the frame's bad on it. All the bearings seem to be turning. Even the tires seem fine. Now we just gotta get everything loaded onto here. I'm gonna hop into a skid steer and do that real quick. Well, we've got everything ready to go. Bailey is on the tractor and the hay wagon with the mowing equipment is on our truck we're gonna take the truck back home first and then we'll run back out here to get the tractor as soon as we get home we're gonna try mowing as many grass bales as we possibly can would you believe it they're calling for rain we finally get home ready to do some mowing and they are calling for rain <sighs> That's okay, because it gives me time to run into town real quick, pick up those supplies I ordered for the chicken coop, 
come back home, build them, and by the time the rain is gone, we can let the grass dry. I don't know. It depends on how much it rains. I'd almost like to just get started mowing right now so we can just rain on it immediately afterwards. Problem is, is I don't think I'll get enough mowed before it does start. But there's only one way to find out. We got to look at the forecast. So looks like it's going to rain for a couple hours, about two and three o'clock. And that is not a good time for that to be happening. And it is a, just a wet and snowy next, oh my gosh. Don't look at the next however many months that we don't need to talk about that. The wind speed is not very high either, so it's not gonna dry very fast. But it's 9.30. Oh, I've got a lot of time until it rains. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start mowing. I'll go pick up the uh, chicken coop supplies once we get done with the mowing here. And let's line up to it. Get it connected to the three-point. There we go. PTO is engaged there as well. Let's go ahead and get started. We've got it down. I'm not going to hit those rocks. No, it looks like we're going to be fine. So let's go ahead, fire it up, and get going. That should, yep, there we go. So our little sickle mower is going along, cutting that real nice. It's not very large, but, you know, we also only have five acres here. I honestly don't want it to be very big, because eventually we just can't get around the area once we start getting barns and pins and greenhouses. By the way, as fun as the floral greenhouses were last time, I think we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We might still have a floral greenhouse, but I don't really want that to be the, you know, the center focus of the farm itself. No, I'd actually like to build this farm to be more of a, kind of imagine a farm you would go to and and pick pumpkins and go on hay rides. I want to do that. And in order to do that, I need you guys' help. I'm currently playing on Tahitian County. It's a map by DR Modding. But of course, with Farm Sim, we don't have things like pumpkins and cucumbers and, you know, all these different little neat crops that we could be growing. And I'd really, really like to add those. So if you guys happen to know how to do that, if there's a mod that can do that, or if you happen to be friends with DR Modding and, you know, maybe he hears this, maybe he can help a pickle out. I really do appreciate it if you do, man. I, I love your map. It's really awesome. Yeah, I want to find out how to grow things like pumpkins and just other cool crops that we haven't tried before. I gotta be honest, too. Mowing this now, I feel like our five acres is bigger than it was last time. It's not. It's the same size. I think it's just because where the house is, we had like an awkward large yard there with the house kind of on the corner. It was neat-ish, but this makes a lot more sense this way because it leaves so much more room out here with that house tucked away in the other corner. But you guys get the idea. I'm going to keep going around mowing this up. I will catch in with you guys in a little bit. stop right there. We're gonna take a break from mowing this. We got quite a bit mowed up here. About half of that there. And then we still have like this down here is the biggest chunk. A lot left to go. But I just gotta do something other than sit on that tractor for a little bit. So let's run over to tractor supply and get those supplies to build the chicken coops and put some chickens in them. Alright little hay wagon you're gonna you're my flatbed trailer from now on. We can't afford one, so this will have to do. <laughs> Let's mosey on over to Tractor Supply, I'm sure. You know what? Take the back road so the cops don't get... Oh, wow! Oh, 
Come on, who parking their dually out here like this? I mean, gosh dang, son. Especially when your driveway's open. I'm just saying. Our drive to tractor supply being through city streets is an odd feeling. Oh, hey, we still haven't picked that. Good thing we did come back here. Okay, let's get that picked up and pick up our chicken stuff. Okay, grain hoppers in the back. We've got the supplies for our chicken coop in the trailer and we are gonna get back over to the farm okay we are pulling back in we've got seed on the back of our trailer there and we've got to get that grain deal out of the back but we'll take care of that in just a moment because i really quick want to go over to where we're gonna build the chickens which i haven't really picked a spot for but for now we're gonna just stick them right up here i want to go over this with the rake hopefully push this hay out of the way that way we can come in here and build our chicken coops. I think that's honestly going to be far enough. We don't really need more space than that. I'm just going to kind of push all of this towards our left hand side or right if we're looking this way and clear out a nice little patch right up here by the fence. But we do have to decide how we're going to build this entire place. Previously, we had a big drive going right down the center. It was neat, but I do think it was inefficient. We could do it a little bit better. Maybe by running that not right along this wall because I'd be too close to there. So maybe down at the edge right down there we'll have a drive going i don't know it depends because it did look really nice in the center so uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and we'll see what we do check it out the chicken coop is here we've got a really neat double sized one barn you can reach right in here in the front grab the eggs very cool side gate allows you to walk into the actual chicken pen i mean this place is just awesome gonna be wonderful for our chickens needs a little bit of tree coverage though we'll get that eventually we'll plant some trees in between for now, let's get the chickens inside and get them fed. All right, we've got all of our chickens turned out there. We just need to get them their feed now. But as you can see, we did go with fully grown chickens so we can start making money right away. We got one rooster in here as well. But I'm sure our little buddies are hungry, so let's go figure out how to get them some of this chicken feed, shall we? Speaking of which, the chickens need fed and so do I, man. It's 11 o'clock. Okay, so we're running into a little issue here. I don't have a front loader here. And this tractor does not look like it was built for one. How do we... Well, I guess we're just going to have to drive over there and we'll hand feed them straight off the pallets, I guess. <laughs> All right, little buddies. Let me hop up here, cut open a bag, and get you fed. Hooey! That sure did use up a lot of those bags. But chickens are fed. They're going to be good now. We can move back on to mowing the last of our five acres here. But first, I think I'm going to run inside, grab something to eat, and I'll catch in with you guys in a moment. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Nothing like a little food to satiate your stomach. While I was inside eating, I found something interesting on Facebook Marketplace. Messaged the guy, and he said that he'd actually bring it down to Casey's for me if I wanted to check it out. So we're going to head over there right now to see if this old used skid loader is going to be worth buying. Heck, it actually looks like it has all new paint on it. That is clean, clean. Well, let's hop up inside, check it out. So you got your controls down there. Got a few more up here. Let's go ahead and start this sucker on up. Come on. Oh, oh, no, I killed it. Whoops, sorry. Hold on. Try again. There we go. All right. So you can raise up your deal. We've got a bucket on the front. That, whoops, that dumps out nice and good. Uh, let's try driving it around the parking lot here just a little bit. So it's got this center deal that you steer with. Weird style, but it seems to work pretty well. I mean, that turns right on a dime. Sometimes you can get these things and they list one way or another. This is uh, going perfectly straight, which is really nice. The only thing is, is it's a bucket and not pallet forks. I kind of do need some pallet forks on this, but I guess we can source those later on. For now, let's get this thing back home, shall we? Oh, by the way, I wrote this guy check so we've only got seven thousand dollars in the bank now no no biggie right oh go 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 we got it no 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 oh we got it too much actually Let's see if we can back it back up on there come on come on come on come on come on maybe i can push it there we go stop Oh, okay, we did it. Might be a little sketchy, probably very illegal, but no one will ever know because we're in the Casey's parking lot. It's not like anybody. Oh gosh, there's a lot of people. Everyone in town comes here. All right, we better go. We'll do the usual thing we do when we're trying to avoid the local county Maui. We'll take the back roads. Okay, we're just about home right on the other side of this neighborhood. It's kind of strange. We, you know, diced through a neighborhood with all this on the back of our truck. Ugh, talk about a local farm community, am I right? Okay, pull right on in here, and that'll do for now. We've got a skid steer that we can now use, but we need to get back to mowing, so let me get this rake disconnected. There we go, got that, and we'll get back to mowing. We'll get all this finished here, and I will see you guys after the rain falls.